everyone and welcome to my final video for Vlogoween 2020. For this kind of grand finale, I wanted to do a special video and something that I don't really do on my channel at all, and that is to tell you a spooky ghost story. But this is not any old ghost story, this is a true story that actually happened to me. So everything in this video, everything that I tell you and show you is 100% real and just happened to me over the last few years. I actually did a paranormal story time on my channel last year. I think it was for a Spooktober challenge and I just told a short little story. If you want to watch it, I'll leave a link to it up in the corner. But at the end of that video, I mentioned that I had a couple of other stories to tell if you guys were interested and one of them included some video footage and that is the story that I'm going to be telling you today. Now also in that video, I happened to mention that I don't know that I necessarily believe in ghosts as in people that were alive and are now dead and their spirits are back to haunt the earth. I don't, I'm open to the idea that that's a thing, but I don't necessarily know that that is what happened in the story that I'm going to tell you. I do 100% believe in angels, which also means that I believe in their counterpart, although I'd like to think that that is not a thing that is happening in my house at all. So for the sake of this story, I am referring to it as a ghost or a spirit, but like I said, I'm open to the idea that that's what it was, but I don't know for sure. This is kind of just a completely unexplainable story, but I just wanted to give that little disclaimer at the beginning. So without further ado, let's jump into my story time, which I like to call the story of the Ash Man, because that is what I referred to the thing that was potentially living in our house. So about three years ago is when this story starts, and basically what happened is it's really kind of a small thing, but I probably just turned it into a big deal, where basically, again, it started three years ago randomly. I've lived in this house my entire life, so for 20 years this has never happened before until three years ago, or I'm not the greatest with time, so around three years ago. And basically what happened is me and my mom started to notice when we would look down and we would see these marks and they would either appear on our arms or our hands. And the only way that I can describe these things is that it almost looked like someone had dipped their finger into either ash or soot and then just like wiped it on our hands or on our arms. And it almost kind of looked like an eyeshadow swatch, like someone had just swatched some soot on our hands. Or sometimes it would look like there were like multiple fingers that had brushed up against us with just whatever this weird like black stuff was. And I still to this day don't know exactly what it was. Like I just say it looked like ash or soot, but if you tried to rub it off with just your hand, it wouldn't really come off. Like, you had to use water to get it off. So, I still don't know what it was. Now, while I am skeptical about ghosts and spirits and things like that, I find it all very fascinating. So, anytime something even slightly unexplainable happens, I'm like, it's a ghost. And my mom does not like that, because she is very, like, she's not skeptical, skept skeptical. She does not believe in it at all, and she does not like to mess with it. So when we started getting these marks on our hands, and it would happen randomly, like, sometimes it would happen multiple times in one day, sometimes we'd go several days without it happening. I think it happened more to me than my mom, but that could also be because my mom stopped bringing it up after I started saying that it was a spirit, because genuinely, it looked like someone was, like, taking their hand and, like, touching us with soot on their hands. And that is why I started to refer to it as the Ash Man, because I thought it looked like someone was wiping ash on our arms. And I also gave him this horribly tragic backstory, which I'm sure did not make my mom feel any better, where I said when he was alive he must have died in a fire, and now when he touches people he leaves ash behind on them. Which again is just the dramatic story that I came up with using my imagination. Like, as far as I know people would want to know like the history of the house and stuff like that, which again, for the 17 years that I lived here, nothing like this has ever happened. It just started three years ago. As far as I know, I don't really know the history of this area. Like, I don't think anybody's ever died in this house, but I don't know the history of the property before that. So, but that little backstory, just so you know, was just something that I came up with. I, 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 don't, I don't think it's a real thing. But that's what I started saying, and me and my mom kind of turned it into not really like an inside joke because while I'm a skeptic, I have great respect for the dead and I would never want to turn that into any kind of joke, but it was something that we, like we were the only, we knew about the Ash Man and anytime we would see it on our arms, I'd be like, hey look, the Ash Man is back, and so it just kind of turned into this little 
thing. I would also just like to say if this video is a complete mess and I am like all over the place or repeating myself, it is because my camera keeps turning off for whatever reason. Like usually the, the camera that I use, it automatically turns off after around 11 or 12 minutes, but it's only recording for like a minute at a time and then it keeps cutting off and it doesn't normally do that. So that it's probably just a weird coincidence, but it is strange that it's happening while I'm telling the story. So I'm really sorry if this video is really choppy, or I'm rambling, or I'm repeating myself because I don't know why the, it keeps like cutting me off mid-sentence, so I'm sorry about that. But back to the story, I don't even remember what I was talking about, but um, oh, the instances that were happening, it was basically just the marks on our arms and our hands. Like, there was no objects moving around, there were no doors slamming, there was the other story that I told last year where something knocked on the door when I was in the shower. That could have been the Ash Man, I don't know. But other than these marks and the videos that I'm about to show you, nothing else really happened. So you're probably thinking, well, it's just like marks on your hands like there's probably plenty of ways that you could explain it away and I'm sure that there probably are and let me tell you my mom gave it a good shot one of the things that she thought it could have been was when we light candles like somehow the like wick would I don't know rub off on our hands or something and that was the soot that we were seeing or she said maybe when it was us getting in and out of the car like on the inside of the door if you like brush up against it like it, it's like dirty or there's like oil or something in there and that could leave these marks on our arms which that is first of all both of those theories are disproven because these instances stopped happening over a year ago. Like, I have not gotten one of these marks on my arm in over a year, and neither has my mom, and we haven't stopped lighting candles, and we haven't stopped getting in and out of cars. So that's disproven. But it was also disproven at the time because one of these days I was in the shower. I don't know why all of my ghost stories involve me taking a shower, but apparently they do. I took a shower, got out of the shower, was putting my clothes on, looked down, and there was the mark on my arm. Even though I had just washed my whole body in the shower, I got out, I touched a towel and my clothes and nothing else, so there was no possible way for my arm to rub up against something and cause this mark after I'd literally just taken a shower. So I know to some people these marks are going to seem like a really minuscule little thing and I'm blowing it out of proportion, but to me it's just completely unexplainable and really odd. But now let's get into what I'm sure you all are waiting for and that is the video footage. Now some of the video footage that I'm going to be referring to I don't have anymore because all of these were taken on Snapchat and some of these videos we didn't notice anything in until after the video was sent and we never saved it. So but I do have other video footage that I did save and trust me I am saving the best for last so do stick around. So this happened around 2018 so at this point the marks on our arms had to have been happening for at least a couple months and my mom had just gotten a snapchat account and we were sitting in my bedroom which is where I am right now and we were just messing around on the app and just like taking videos of each other with the funny filters and she took a video of me and in the video I'm literally just like on my phone I'm not even paying attention but she's got like the bare ears with the glasses or something on me and she takes the video it's a couple seconds long and she doesn't save it because she doesn't think it's anything worth saving and she sends it to me and the way we have our snapchat set up is that when you like send a video or whatever it plays on a loop until you click out of it so she sends me the video I pull it up I'm just watching it like whatever and then all of a sudden in the top right hand corner where it's literally just my blank wall the filter shows up with the ears and the glasses and all of that and it was just for a split second and then it disappeared and so immediately in my head I'm thinking it's the Ash Man on Snapchat. So I show my mom because the video is playing on the loop and I'm like look it's the Ash Man which you know she doesn't like so she was like that's terrifying let's never do that again and I was like that's super cool I'm gonna do it again so I take out my phone and I'm like filming the same parts of my room that she had the camera pointed at and nothing is showing up. And here's the thing is I know a lot of people ske are skeptic about the like Snapchat filters, you know, seeing ghosts and stuff like that. But here's the thing. If Snapchat can recognize 
a blank wall or like inanimate objects as having like a face and a mouth and it like confuses it for a face well, how is it doing that for a blank wall and it won't ever put a filter on my cat who like very clearly has two eyes a nose and a mouth I don't believe it so it was really odd and when I tried to film the exact same places that she was filming nothing was showing up so if it was mistaking like a shadow or something in the wall as being like a face then why wouldn't it still be confusing it as that unless whatever was there is now not there anymore so that was really odd and like I said I wish that we had saved that video because it was just it was really strange because it's literally just a blank wall. My camera just stopped filming again. This is so weird and this video is going to be a mess to edit so I really hope this video turns out okay. So that whole thing happened with the video that my mom took. So then the next day because at this point I'm like obsessed with this idea that there might actually be a spirit living in the house because like the marks on my arm again it's really unexplainable but I kind of was joking that it was a spirit. It I was kind of just like playing around, but now I'm like, holy crap, it might actually be a spirit. So the next day, I distinctly remember this day, I was sitting on my couch, I was home alone, I was cooking pasta, doing my laundry, and watching Charlie and the Chocolate Factory on the TV when I decided to mess around a little bit more with Snapchat. So here are the videos that I got. So in this first one, I am using this bunny filter and I'm moving the camera all around my head just trying to see if something's going to show up. And it doesn't for quite a while and then suddenly it's there. And it's really quite creepy because the thing about this particular filter was it did, it did something funny with your eyes. So it kind of looks like you can see eyes there but it is just the filter. But still, there's really, where it's showing up, there's nothing in the background to really look like two eyes and a mouth or a nose or anything like that and you can also see in the video that I am very happy that it showed up like I was fascinated with this but that video is not all I kept going so this next one is I have a picture that I took and this one is also really creepy because again this filter did make your eyes change color or something like that but it still is really creepy that there's just this like floating pair of eyes and then I went back to the bunny filter and this one got a little bit stranger because it looks like the face is moving or like getting closer to the camera and it's almost like it tilts its head a little bit and the thing about this in the last video is that in the last video it kind of looked like whatever it was was standing behind the couch but in this one it looks like it's closer and it's like sitting on the couch next to me but then like I said I saved the best for last so the final video that I took and after I took this video I was like all right that's enough for now because that was actually kind of creepy so and that could just be because of the kind of filter that I was using so this filter was a like spa filter so it made your face all white because it was like you had that like cream on or like a face mask and then it was the kind of filter where if you open your mouth it makes these cucumbers come down over your eyes now it's one thing for snap chat to mistake objects in the background for being a face but those objects should not be opening their mouths to make these little cucumbers come down over the eyes and as you could see in that video for some reason that particular filter kept like spazzing out like the other filters when it would show up it was it would stay there for a while but this one kept cutting it and out and then when the cucumbers came down over the eyes I was like I think we're done for the night and I did not try it again and I have actually tried it a few times since then and nothing has showed up even before filming this video because I was like mm, people are probably gonna be really skeptic about that I took out my snapchat and I was pointing it all over my room with one of the bare ear filters and nothing was coming up and like there's so many things in my room for snapchat to mistake for a face and nothing was coming up so it's just all really strange and unexplainable like I said I'm sure that there's probably people that are gonna be able to come up with explanations as to what happened and I'd love to hear your theories in the comments but I still think it's kind of just a fun spooky story and honestly it stopped happening over a year ago and I actually kind of miss it a little bit not gonna lie 
And before filming this video, I actually googled Ashman just to see if maybe there was like some other instances of this happening or there was like an urban legend or something about it and I didn't find anything like that but I did find the definition of Ashman as being somebody who discards ashes which I'm like is that an actual thing like is that a profession now are they talking about people ashes I don't know but that could be another backstory if this was an actual spirit of someone who was alive perhaps he did not die in a fire perhaps he was an ash man who discarded ashes. It also told me the plural was ash men. So apparently there are multiple people who do this. I've never heard of it before though. So that was an interesting thing to look into. But yeah, that is the end of my story. I just think it's a fun little ghost story that I'm sure I'll enjoy telling like my grandkids one day that I had a spirit that potentially lived in my house. And, like I don't claim to be psychic or anything like that, obviously, because I am a skeptic, but thinking back on it and like at the time and even when I took these videos, when I look back on these videos, I don't feel anything like negative about it. So if it was a spirit, I feel like it was something that was positive and like playful. If it was what was leaving the marks on our arms, I think it was, it all felt quite playful. But like I said, I don't claim to be like psychic or anything like that, but I never got bad vibes from it. So yeah, I do actually kind of miss it a little bit if I'm being completely honest. Not that I'm inviting anything to come back into my house, but true story. If you guys enjoyed this video and maybe wanted to see some more videos like this because I do have at least two other kind of unexplainable stories that have happened to me, let me know by leaving a comment down below and giving this video a thumbs up because I'd love to make those videos for you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that brings us to the end of Vlogoween 2020. I really enjoyed doing this again this year and I look forward to doing it again next year. So if you did like it, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye! You hear that, Samson?